Check, check, one, two. Check, pop, check. Pop, pop, popcorn. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? This is Husky, and welcome to Lisa Tempo. And you already know what, what time it is. You've been practicing? I hope you have. Because you know what time it is? Guess that tempo. Yep, that's right. But well, we figure out if we know the tempos. And today's special guest, we got Robin Alfred. What's going on, Robin Alfred? It's going good. I'm nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> Dude, don't be, be nervous, nervous man. We're human. Just, We're human. Dude, like Yugi Moto said... Just believe in the heart of the cards, and you should be straight, bro. I mean, you seen the episodes? <laughs> believe in the episode. cards. He always took, he always took out the fucking right card, bro. So as long as you believe in the answer that you're gonna give me when I play these tracks, I don't see any reason why you'll you'll do bad at this. So you'll be good, bro. Oh, man, you should be a hype man, huh? <laughs> I'm your hype man, bro. Woo! You got this, bro. And with that being said, dude, you ready? We're ready. All right, man. And for those who are just tuning in, uh, new listeners, new viewers, let me just explain the rules real quick. If I'm gonna play a couple of tracks for Ramen Alfred or whoever's my guest for the day, uh, if the track's 130, they say 128, 132, I'll give them a point if they are two BPMs away. So if it's 130, they say 129, that's a point. If they say 128, that's a point. If they say 127, that's three BPMs away. It's not within the criteria, so you get no points. If you guys are confused, just let me know. I could uh, make it more simpler in the next episode. Let me know in the comments. And if you guys like the content too, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to follow Roman Alfred in the social media and, uh, to know more about his content and more about his music. And are you ready for the first track, Roman yeah, Alfred? Yeah, let's get this going. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> man. I am excited. Have you seen a couple of the episodes that we've done with this? Uh, yes, I have. All right, what do you think, man? What do you think about the what we're doing so far? Honestly, it's it's a test. It's a test. People should take consideration. If you don't have the screen in front of you, learn it. Learn it. Yeah, that's one thing too. Wow, how I came up with this too. Um, so it's almost like turntables. There was a there was a time where I was DJing and my BPM wasn't reading, so I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna have to figure out what BPM the sounds and just try to like match it up." And that's why I got this whole. It was one of the reasons why I got this comp to is just like to see if I didn't know my temples. I actually don't know a lot of my temples. <laughs> I did it on my own self, and uh, the video will come out too. But uh, uh, it kind of made me made me lead to think that okay, let me see who else knows their temples like that. So that's why uh, it was pretty cool to have people come in, someone like yourself to come and see how they do well with the temples. And with that being said, let's get to the first track. You ready? Yes, sir. Cool. Let's do it. And this one is called Slasher by Midnight. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, Midnight, keep it up, dog. God damn. Shit was We're going to have the artist description or artist information description as well. So make sure to give Midnight a follow with the slasher. Jesus. Roman Alfred. <laughs> How you feeling, dude? What you feeling? What you think about that track? Um, I think it's good. Um, overall, it's pretty slow, but right. it's, in my, it's in my range. So sure. my, my playing range from like 116 to 124 because... That's that's some future house type of music, right? So okay. Around that area. So, I want to say, without the watch method, I want to say like one twenty one, one twenty, one twenty one, one twenty. Yeah. You find you final answer, final answer. Yeah, because I know it's not that fast and not too slow. Because I've heard. That area, I'm like, yeah, this is this is the spot. Sounds good, Robin. So say the BPM and then say final answer. One twenty one, uh, BPM final answer. All right, Robin offers says one twenty one final answer. We're about to find out what Record Box tells us. All right, let's get it. Record Box, what's the BPM? Oh, there's one twenty. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. All right, Ooh. damn. <laughs> Fuck. All right. One, All right. One out of one. Good shit. One out of one. Here we go. Good we good. Good shit, dude. Ooh, we gonna roll. Shit. We gotta roll. <laughs> Fucking hey, Holy crap. Hey, for the video, you feel me? For the video. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hey, good shit, Robin Alfred. Damn, round of applause, dude. I like your thinking on that too, dude. You thought about it. You were like, it's slow. Was in that BPM section. You said 121. BPM was 120. 
like I said earlier, two BPMs away, I'll give it to you. In this case, drink. he was one every BPM away. Drink. Every lost two drinks. Jeez. Yeah, and if you don't get it, you drink. But if you want to drink, you could just drink it, no matter. But <laughs> cheers, dude. I'll give you a cheers to that. Hey, cheers, cheers. Always. Dude. All right, man. One out of one. Good shit. And we got five more tracks to go. So this next track more? we got from <laughs> Chemo. I believe that's how you say it. And this track is called Sp- Splashing. So, Splash? Yeah, it's called Splashing. So Drip. we're about to play Splash. this track. We'll see how it goes. And then I'm going to let you know. Oh, and also, too, if you want me to play a track again, uh, if you want me to play, repeat the drop or play the second drop, uh, just let me know. Okay, so if too. I need more information. Exactly. Need more. Got you. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank All you. right. This is chemo, and then this tra- this track is called Splashing. I know exactly. I don't even know that. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Chemo. Sick track, sick track. All right. Uh, just because I've heard, because I have this one song, uh, I forgot what it is. It's a Down with the Sickness, a remix, and it's it's the same beat, honestly. I wouldn't say like same, same. Just same area. Same structure, same, same like, like, tempo. Like, just, just for me, like, I'm, I'm not going to say. You know what? What? What was what? Right, got gotcha. you. Same area, whatnot. So I was like, yeah, okay. I pl- I've messed around with this area a lot, so I want to say around 100 BPM. 100 Final BPM. Answer. Final answer. All right, cool. Shit. All right. Okay. Shit, I heard that. I was like, yep. Ramen Alves says 100 BPM. Record Box says 100 Ooh. BPM, dude. Yo, holy shit! Damn, son. Why was I thinking? I'm experimental. I go everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking, like, for some goddamn reason, 80, 85. But see, I, I that's thought 85, mean. but I, how it went, like, a little bit more happy. Like, thum, 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 thum. It, that's what it reminded me of, like, more Moomba tone and whatnot. Mm, so it's, like, right, it's high, sure. it's higher. But it's yeah. not high enough to sound like house. Because after 110, that's when it starts sounding like house music. But slower tempo. Shit, good thing I'm not on that side of the chair. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, good shit, dude. Two out of two. Dude, give Ramon Alfred a follow, honestly. Two out of two. Dude, and you say you didn't think you were going to do that good? No. Ah, this food is fucking nervous. stalling, bro. I, I played everyone, huh? You stalling, you know, man. Look at you playing everyone, dude. <laughs> I look, he made a bet. I was like, dude, this was not going to make it. This food doesn't seem too secure. Yeah, and I'm about to lose this bet. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> dude, two out of two. That's impressive, man. Good shit. Good shit. Let's get the next track going. This next track is by one of the homies, the boy, Segera. Ooh. This is actually the, a VIP to one of our collaborations that we did called Full Force. And this is Sagara's VIP version of it. So I'm about to play this. Shout out Sagara. Give him a follow. We'll leave the information in the description. Let's go. That was a VIP of Full Force by Segura. Got it on my phone. Um, it's house area. It's not 140s. It's too slow for that. You see, you guys, deductive reasoning. You guys fucking need to do that shit. It's not slower tempo because slower tempo is more spaced out. So it's not 125. Um, okay. Let's meet in the middle of everything. Of 120, 140. I'll say 130. 130? Final answer. You don't want to switch it? You sure? Oh, we already said final answer. Honestly, I, <laughs> okay. we, yeah, you got to say final answer. So, me shit. You, you're cool, you 130. So, once you say final answer, like, honestly, Hold shit. Like, yeah, fuck it. it. Like, um, dude, hey, I didn't sure? make the rules, dude. We you, just filming sure did. We just filming made the rules. <laughs> Blame the fucking game show who wants to be a millionaire. God damn it. <laughs> Who wants to be a temple champion, dude? Fucking A. Ramon Alfred's trying to be temple champion. How much is the most? Someone's gotten. 
Uh, six out of seven, I believe. Oh, we so had that someone, so we had that someone some, extra? We, no, no, I, I don't know. Six, I don't, six out of five out of six. Yeah, I think it was five out of six. We had someone. We had some really good guesses the, these past episodes that we've done. But um, you're doing good so far, bro. So you said one thirty. <laughs> Final answer, bro. I want to see what's, what the fuck. Yeah, I don't even know the BPM, bro. I wasn't looking at the BPM. I was too busy fucking getting down, getting jiggy with fucking Segura's new VIP and shit. <laughs> it's, it's already out on SoundCloud. Go give it a shot. Fire. All right. Regular box. What's the BPM? <laughs> one fucking 30, bro. Jesus Christ. Three out of three. It's a good day. Hey, Robin Alfred came in and was like, dude, I'm fucking nervous. I don't know what the tempo's going to be. It's, this hey, was it was playing us. It was all in my head. Hey, bro, honestly, I'm going to lose 100 bucks of a bet, dude. So you owe me 200. Because, like, honestly, shit. you fucking played me. Should have told me I would have put myself in the bet. I would at least bet it on myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? Fucking A. Ah, good shit, dude. Three out of three. Good fucking shit, homie. And again, uh, participate too as well. Whoever's watching in, uh, write in the comments too. Uh, honestly, be honest, you know. Play the honor system. Let us know how you guys personally did with these tracks that we're playing, you know. Put your score. Uh, we're playing six tracks, so we want to know how you guys are doing. We want to know where you guys' uh, knowledge and uh, expertise with tempo, so... Um, please participate, comment, let us know the results. Just play along. And right Just now, along. Ramen Alfred is three out of three, man. Jesus, follow him and Ramen Alfred. This man spitting. Oh, but you know what, bro? Honestly, I'm tired of this shit. I'm about to switch it up. <laughs> He's about to give me something else. Check this out. Hey, bro. It's not even in the list. And just to uh. Say the track name too. I forgot. It's called Buried, and the artist is Cro- uh, Chronic or Cro- Chronique and Fay- and Fayin or Fayon. Not lie, you know, it helps you sometimes. I'm sorry, I just don't know how to pronounce uh, seeing it. Seeing the wavelengths. Sometimes. But big shout out. That's what I mean sometimes. Seeing wavelengths, because then you see how spaced out they are. Yeah, true. True. I don't want to see it because then I'll probably just see the. You probably see the tempo too. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. <laughs> Some songs, um, the smallest things make the biggest difference. Hey, like, just song, like, you take that off, you're like, hey, where'd it go? You're like, damn, honestly, that made a big impact. <laughs> just a, a little, big influence. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> um, uh, this is like the same area. You want to phone a friend? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> nah. Um, I know the same area as Segueras, um, a little bit um, lower. But it's still base house area. Take a number out of my ass and just say one twenty seven. Final answer. Just, just a random number out of my ass. Just because I know it's not that slow, but it's not that fast. What's the girls? You're gonna be safe. We one twenty seven. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. All right, bet. <laughs> Once again, give Robin an offer to follow. If you guys uh, dig him as an artist, you guys like what he's been talking about, go ahead and make sure you give him a follow. Hey, if on you've Twitter, been hit me as an artist, media. just follow me. Just hey, follow me. Honestly, don't pass <laughs> fucking human being. Um, honestly, real. And just stay updated with him. Give him a follow, all right? Because become, this become friends. Come on. got the oh. fucking answer right again. One BPM away. It was 126 yeah, to 127. I'll take, I'll take it. Damn, dude. Four out of four, bro. That means there's two more tracks that you got to get right to get 100%. I don't think we got 100%. And, and, and one of our videos yet, bro. I don't want to put that pressure on you, but... <laughs> why you got to say it? I don't oh, want to put you gotta that pressure it? on you, but... <laughs> hey, like, hey, I'm just saying, but... I just want to know what... I just want you to know what the stakes are here. Just so you have an idea of what you can do today. I thought we were high rollers. A milestone. Are we high rollers here? <laughs> Come on. No, you're right, you're right. We make electronic music. It's high rollers already. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, bro. You fucking... You fucking played all of us, dude. Finesse myself, to Fucking all of us. All right, so this next track is by Magic Flowers, and this one's called Try. Let's get it. Can I get the song after? Oh, I 
called try and it's uh by magic flowers and you could go ahead and get this track too on Bandcamp. uh you know go ahead and buy the buy it um, i can't buy it i don't care i'll, I'll support someone gotta I'll support it. too you know uh so uh, not a lot of times tracks that we get uh they'll probably be on soundcloud but they might not have it for a free download so a lot of these artists you know are trying to support themselves you know uh having people buy the beats or buy the tracks for them and, and I honestly direct support to the artist so you can find that track in Bandcamp you know make a purchase if you guys dig the track there's a lot more other tracks uh, I'm sure from Magic Flower that you guys uh, will dig so uh, that was a really nice track I actually really loved it like <laughs> it was a vibe dude because um, I'm also like because you know I play house music whatever but every now and then I'll uh, you know my other whenever I don't play house music I, I sometimes play like future beats so I stay around the area of 98 maybe to 115. Yeah, like, that's, okay, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's, that's literally just vibe music. Like, like lounge, lounge music, music yeah. kind of like Keitra. Uh, yeah, Keitra, not shit. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's how I was like, okay, like this is this is my area. I know this. I know this. So, so let's hear it. What do you know? Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm I'm guessing it's 102 BPM. Is that final answer? You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. 102 BPM. Oh, final, final answer. answer? Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm feeling all good. Right, all right, all right. Point, all right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah, I feel good. All right, Regular Box said 101.98, <laughs> dude. Go. 102. Oh, my. Hey, this was looking at my computer. <laughs> Fuck that shit. This was looking at my shit. Nah, just <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, my God, bro. Five out of five, dude. Man, you might break. You might You might make history today, dude. Gotta might. start someday. <sighs> How are you feeling, dude? Because before we started playing, you were like, dude, I'm nervous. Like, I, I, I looked at the other guests at Tempos, and, you know, it looked really intimidating. But, dude, you're doing, fuck, I mean, but you're But I'm you're glad you guys keeping it in my expertise for a minute. You, you know, you know, I mean, your the experience and, like, what we've talked about as you as a DJ, like, it definitely speaks because, you know, you... You're in a playground of hearing a lot of tempos as you're a DJ, so you're just you're just exposed. Yeah, because to... I have to learn how to play different, um, you know, crowds. Because I played crowds of high schoolers, which is way different than a crowd of people in a bar. Like, a, a, oh a, yeah, no a crowd doubt. is like these two crowds are so different. A club crowd and a bar crowd, those are so different. While these are top forties, like these are just like it depends your area. Right. Like, yeah. It's just it's just different. No, I like, believe you can't it. even be the same. It's not probably I... be like a little bit. But and sometimes you learn the hard way, you know. Whether that hard way is them leaving the dance floor because you didn't play that, the the, the kinds of songs you be, need to be playing. So, and that's all comes with experience, you know. Taking those gigs, seeing what what kind of people like in that kind of setting, and and damn man, I mean you're you're definitely a testament of someone that's definitely been DJing for a while and that knows their temples, dude. But you hey, know your temples, so <laughs> yeah, I, like. But hey, if if people are starting to leave your dance floor, you know what you should do? Just bring your crowd. Just bring your own crowd. They'll stay there. Stay. Hey, no facts. Hey, bring facts. your own crowd. Then they'll be like, hey, you want to come more? You're like, you want to get booked? You want to get paid more? You know, at that point, you'd be like your own promoter. Then you'd be set. Yeah, but when people yeah. start leaving, bring your, own, bring your own people. That's it. Honestly, bro, people that are listening to this right now should be paying you for the shit that you're saying, bro. So you're paying me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Fucking A. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. <laughs> damn. So, now I got you, dude. I got you. <laughs> 12. 12. Damn, dude. Fucking A. Last song, man. You ready? Last round. And this track right here is by Zion Don. And for those who don't know who Zion Don is, let me just put a little information on Zion Don. Who? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's actually the, the the head director, uh, the person that's pretty much my right hand man in this platform, Lucid Tempo. So it's where Touch. The is yeah, where we, what I'm looking at right now is Zion Don, who is. It's right now, touch right now. For some reason, but hey, props. Yeah, so Zion Don, who's also my manager, who is also my head director, producer for this uh, platform, actually is going to be playing a track for you to guess the tempo of it too. And this track is called Send Me. 
So once again, go ahead and give Zion Don a follow. Uh, he's also It's Touch. Uh, go ahead and give him a follow. Uh, you know, make sure to give a like. And if you guys like the content as well, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that way we could keep on doing what we're doing. You know, we love what we're doing, putting the underground on the spotlight. And this is what we plan on doing for the next couple of months, next couple of years. Yep. So as long as we're staying healthy, we're staying consistent, we'll be here. And with that being said, let's get the last round started. Go ahead and give Zion Don once again a follow. And this track is called Send Me. Damn, dude, that percussions are like pan. Everyone let this play. Everyone let this play. And that was Send Me by Zion Don. Go ahead and make sure to give him a follow. Can't hesitate enough. I know I'm being annoying. Give this fool a follow. Damn. <laughs> it's free. It takes a minute. I mean, I don't know. It may take two minutes depending on your internet. You know, I don't know how that works. But If you can even find us, but you should. <laughs> Links in the Bible. Well, we'll have the information on the description. Make sure to follow not just Zion Dom, but everybody else that was involved in this episode. Robin Alfred, man. No pressure, dude. No pressure, bro. No, but but I, do know, I do know. I do know it's in the area because I, I used to like the song like a good amount. Not, I wasn't like, I, I never played it, but it has the same area. Of, I like it by Bad Bunny and Cardi B. So that's why I was like, okay, I know this area. I know this area. I mean, it's half. So that one would be, I, I think that song is 126, the Cardi B one. Okay. So, well, basically 63. But if you want to go up 126, because eventually it's just going to go heavy and right. faster. But I'm going to stick to 126, final answer. Record box. Is Ramon Offer gonna make history today? Oh man, I'm, I'm about to press the button right now. Let's get Drum it. Roll, Record please. box, what you saying? It's 128. Fucking Ramon Offer made fucking history today. I fucking lose the tempo. <laughs> and here, fucking lose the tempo, dude. Six out of six, homie. Six out of yeah. six, dude. 100%, bro. That's why I don't study. Actually, no, fuck that. Hey, <laughs> hey, bonus round. Fuck that. All right, go. Hey, bonus round, homie. I'm about to bring out the fucking... You know what? Hey, but shout out uh, Zion Don. For you know what? Track. Hey, test me. Give me the bass music. Test me. Hey, dude, you know what? Hey, look, I'm going to... Look, straight up. You you won, dude. You got 100%. Like, you, you, you fucking nailed it. But, honestly, if we're going to make history, I'm going to make history, too, with the fucking first official bonus round, dude. So, we're going to go with the seventh track, dude. And you know what? Let's do this right here, bro. If you get this, dude, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. All right? Dead All ass, right. bro. Because I'm about to find out how far you want to go. But I'm, I'm going to play a track for you, and I want to see how you do, bro. Because you know what? There's some shit. There's history in the fucking making. All right, bro. So... I'm about to load up this track. <laughs> See how you do. All right, so this one is uh, this one's by Drag, and it's called Flick Bounce. So Flick go bounce. ahead and give him a, a go. All right, he or she, I don't know who it is. Give Drag give a them, follow. Give them a follow. The track's called Flick Bounce, and Ramen Alfred. Hope you're ready, homie. Let's See. <laughs> Bonus round, dude. From the beginning, I was just singing "Pop That" by French Montana. So, alright, I know this. I know oh, this <laughs> like because that's okay. That's another strategy I have. I know songs in the, like that sound like him, like cool. So then I know those BPM because out of interesting. Alright, cool, whatever. But 
I want to say 172. Final answer. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Oh, 72. Final answer. 72. Yes. Whoa. If, okay, if I would have said one, I would have said 144. Because that's doubled. So, right, right, right. 72. Final answer. Dang. Caught myself. Shit. <laughs> I was scared for myself. Like, no. Uh, That's shit. I'm like, hold on, it's not that fast. All right, regular bo- <laughs> box. Fast. Tell us what it is. It's seventy, dude. It's two. Oh, that's two. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna just stop it here, to be honest, because honestly, I just needed that bonus round to reassure that this one knows his tempos. Hey, if you guys are watching, I mean, I don't know if you guys been keeping count, how you guys been doing, but let us know in the comments. Obviously, Ramon Offer knows his tempos. He freaking. Uh, nailed it. We went through all the tracks. Pretty much was on the point with uh, most of the tracks. And if not, a 1 BPM or 2 away. Like I said, you get, you're away from that uh, criteria. Uh, or I'm sorry, you're within that criteria. You're going to get the points. But shit, man. I mean, hearing you before we started this, you were saying you were nervous, a bit intimidated. You didn't know how you were going to do. And the fact that you got 100%, bro. It was nerves. Dude, honestly, dude, you played us. <laughs> you played us. You played yeah, us, Yeah, come bro. on. It's a suspense, you know? It's like, it's like a set. You got to do. You got to go soft. You got to go low. And then towards right on the first song, just smack him. God dang it, bro. You freaking... That shit hurt. Dude, honestly, I'll, I'm really impressed, bro. Honestly, it's... I think this is the first Lucid Temple Guess That Temple uh, episode that we had that was 100%. With a bonus round that you even fucking still got. So yeah, damn, and the dude. first ones weren't even in the area. Like, they were they were 100 and up. Right, yeah. And, dude, oh, dude, again, congrats, bro. You did that. And, honestly, this guy has to get a follow now. If you guys were being skeptical, I don't know why you guys being skeptical. Like, this guy fucking did his thing. He, he let us know about himself. I earned your follow. He, he fucking earned it, honestly. Earned it. I wasn't even following this fool, and I'm going to follow this nah, fool. He's I blocked, play. that's why. <laughs> he blocked me, yeah, he blocked me. So he earned my unblock. He blocked me because I played like his all of his playlists, and I went on before him. Yeah, and, and then like, he, he played the song I told him not to play. He, yeah, he yeah. Played, he played Husky full force. So I was like, what the fuck, why'd you play? I was supposed to play. I was like, hey, bro, hold up, dude. Like, it's my shit, you know? So, yeah, I was like, well, but that's my USB. Yeah, but I'm about to follow you now, dude. <laughs> I'm about to follow you now. <laughs> yeah, get, make sure to give Robin Alpha to follow uh, all of his social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, fucking AIM, all that shit. Whatever you use, we don't discriminate. We use all markets, all right? We try to put ourselves on every platform. Make sure to uh, check out his music on SoundCloud and Spotify as well. Uh, like I said, we, uh, He's, he's doing a lot of music. He's going to be pushing out a lot of stuff next year uh, within the next couple of weeks as well. So stay updated. And if you guys like the content that we're doing, make sure to subscribe to our channel, at Lose the Tempo. Make sure to follow me as myself as an artist. I'm Husky, at Husky Bass. So Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you guys for tuning in. This was our Ramen Alfred.